Okay, here's what my testing looks like. I've put it into a folder. I printed it out and put it in a folder. So anyway, that's the cut like the cover. Right, so then you've got like uh, just a welcome page. I'll show you the contents. So. Okay, I should probably have read them out anyway. So that's about interpreting your results. A little bit about everyday foods and gut nourishment, which is important. Complementary and alternative medicine. So it's got a little bit about stuff in there. Um, stuff about um, different testings, finding complementary alternative medicines and stuff. Then you've got customer testimonials, which are all right and stuff. Well, they would be, wouldn't they? And then you've got the food analysis, uh, food sensitivities analysis. And it goes to great pains to point out, and rightly so, that this is not an allergy test. This is a um, test for sensitivity. So this is food you are sensitive to. Okay. Um, here we have a, a little bit about the role of food types and what the vitamins do and the roles they play in your body there's kind of a chart about it sources a brief page on sources of vitamins which could be like quite a handy little quick go-to thing then it talks about what food sensitivity is um and it is um Food sensitivity happens when the body has difficulty digesting a particular food. Having food sensitivity can cause symptoms such as bloating, bowel movement changes, headaches and fatigue. It can contribute to, towards symptoms experienced by those with chronic conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, chronic fatigue, arthritis, autism and ADH and ADD. Um, and it's not to be confused with food allergies it's for sensitivity only and it tells you how to interpret your results um, the red is a high reactivity the moderate is a moderate reactivity and the green is no reactivity so uh, over here starts getting to the nitty-gritty food sensitivity overview and high reactivity here that shows me the categories in which I have some kind of high high reactivity result and then here's some categories with a moderate reactivity result and then you have pages several pages of the actual results and you'll see things like that so you can see all the red ones are to be highly avoided um, and the green ones are perfectly fine um, apparently apples are really bad for me and also strawberries yay um and it's a pretty mixed bag but i mean luckily i mean most stuff is kind of all of the categories seem to have some things that are okay for me um nuts you know peanuts apparently is a bit of a no for me but cashew nuts is fine so i can kind of live with that um i'm gonna lose my hummus because that's like huh ah. but at least i get to ke keep my kidney beans and lentils and stuff that i like soya's totally out as well so there you have that um it's just looking if the drinks was on that one it's not um seafood is really just calamari oysters and mussels and salmon is a no by the way but most things are kind of yes that's awesome oils some of the oils i really like because i really like sesame oil and that is out i uh, use a lot of oyster sauce that is out and soy sauce obviously and it has a section about vegan stuff um and how to go about that properly if you wanted to explore that there's some apparent foods that i am sensitive that are vegan foods farfowl nacho oh natto sorry i have a cat blocking baby just like you can't get in on this action sorry yeah 
um, you know, just some things there and some moderate, no moderate ones. And that's just sort of what I was testing for for those. Um, then there's the non-food sensitivities. So that explains a bit about that. And then here we have a list. You have a list then on your page of high reactivity categories and moderate reactivity categories. And then there's like a page. I'm not too bad. A lot of it is plants, organic compounds, um, insects, wasps. I don't know what the little bitey things are because they're not on there. It's just bees and wasps and mosquitoes those other little things that bite us i don't know what the fuck they are but anyway dandelions is like not very dandy for me no sir but most of the stuff on there is fine which is okay because you know plants and everything um metal sensitivities i've done really well on that one because i had no high reactivity to any metals uh just a moderate reactivity to these four which i haven't explored because i just haven't so there's loads there they're fine and just one or two that you know is a moderate thing minerals and other nutrient analysis so you get the information and now this sort of stuff this is where i really was interested because this is all kind of works with digestion and stuff like that and we've in range for loads of stuff and there's three things that um I'm low on and um, so I've already bought a, that in the supplement with which has also got another thing that I'm low on further down which should help and then you get the actual thing and so vitamins same sort of set out the only thing I'm really lacking in is vitamin K I do take a supplement obviously not enough so that's being upped anyway and um, additives, which is another one that I haven't really gone through properly yet. But I've got quite a few high reactivities and a few moderates as well. So I will check them out. And those are mostly E numbers and there's quite a lot of them. But you can see I've got, there's a key at the back which tells you what they all are. And then there's a link for a website where you can actually go and look up the brands of, you know, the major brands that sell these things. So you can actually sort of find the actual things. So this was another area I was really interested in, the gut health. Um, and that's really quite um, interesting. And so i'm absolutely low on now this is interesting because i actually do take a supplement but obviously not enough um these are what you would call probiotics basically um probiotic and prebiotics so i've got all of them i'm low on and none of them are normal so that's that so i've really got to look into that because it all affects the digestive help which is this and here's more you know there's a few things that i am three things i'm low on and two things that are normal so that's another area because that all deals with all the heartburn and the acid reflux and all that so then when you get through all of this and i've got so much research to do on it as well um then you have what they call the next steps because it doesn't just leave you hanging like that um you have these things here which are about setting down what your aims and objections are to try and um you know undertake a new healthier way of eating it talks about the elimination diet and this is where you choose one of several ways of um, cutting out, either gradually cutting out the things that are in the red dots in those pages and um, or you just cut all that, the red dots out and then you actually do that for a few weeks and then you reintroduce them 
um, and if I do that then I can print out more of these pages just scan them in and print them out um, but it's got all about um, finding out what what foods work for you and what foods don't which is a bit like the thing with the DNA but obviously this is a, a more um, I'd say this is a more reliable source because with the DNA thing um, that was a genealogy uh, DNA test and Eve and a lot of the um, criteria it couldn't tell me you know some of it, it could tell me and some of it it couldn't because um, it the, the genealogy thing didn't flag the right things or markers or whatever um, and then you've got after that you've got at the back it's like a glossary of the e numbers explained for example um, you know there's they're all the things you see on the backs of packets that you go well the fuck's that um, so you know it's handy I will have to offset the e numbers that have been flagged for me and look them up against these and then try and find out what those products are there's quite a few numbers of that and then there's a metal potential sources so this tells you all about the metals that you can find built in up, up in your thing anyway that's the whole lot of it so there we go